Hi, good morning, grade fours. Welcome to another video uh, for natural science. For today's video, we are just going to be speaking about what would make something living or non-living. As you may remember, we have covered this in term one. Uh, today's just going to be a quick video, so please sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Let us get started. So, as you can see, that is me at the bottom. <laughs> We're going to be speaking about what would make something living and what would make something non-living. So how do we know if something is living? All living things are characterized as being be able to do seven things. These are usually remembered by the mnemonic Mrs. B. Fig. Okay. So before we start to explain uh, and talk about what each one is, I want you to please try and guess what these letters stand for. I'm going to give you three seconds to try and guess what each one stands for. Right, the seven characteristics of living things. The first one that we're going to speak about is movement. And animals move to find food and keep away from predators, as well as plants move to face the light. The next one is R, which is reproduction. The ability to produce offspring to keep species in existence. Think about cats and dogs. Okay, they have puppies and kittens. And because of that, those puppies and kittens can then have offspring of their own when they're older. The next one we're going to talk about is sensitivity. And this is responding and reacting to the environment. Think about if I were to pinch you on your hand. You can feel that. Okay, you can smell your food. You can hear noises. Okay, and you can see me through the video camera now. We're then going to move on to breathing. Animals and plants require oxygen. Let me just move my face here. Animals and plants require oxygen and carbon dioxide to survive. We as humans, we breathe in oxygen and give out carbon dioxide, whereas plants, they breathe in carbon dioxide and give off oxygen. The next one that we're going to speak about is feeding, and this is turning food into energy. We need food, such as a banana, to have energy to run and to do exercise. Without food, we won't be able to do much at all. We're then going to go on to excretion, which is getting rid of waste. Yes, this means going to the bathroom, but another example that I like to give to my class is think of sweating. When we are doing exercise, we sweat. And because we're sweating, it means that we're cooling ourselves down. Speaking of which, how do you think we actually warm ourselves up? A natural way, and don't just think that we put on clothes. What's the natural way how we warm up? The next one is growth. We grow larger and stronger, becoming more of an adult size over time. Think how much you have grown since this lockdown. So for the task, what I need you to do, let's move myself over here, make a list of the seven characteristics of living things using Mrs. B Fig and come up with your own examples of what makes something living and non-living. Provide examples of living and non-living things and draw an example of each characteristic on your mind map. I want you to create a mind map of what would make something living and non-living, please. Okay, be sure to include examples, uh, use lots of color, and be, be expressive. Make it exciting. When we are done uh, at the end of this lockdown, bring it to class so we can put it up in our classrooms. I hope you really enjoy this task, and please feel free to email your teacher if you have any questions. Make it look exciting and enjoy the task. Cheers, grade fours.